So first thing we always want to do, is this the right time to be in the market or not? Is this the right time to be bullish? Is this the right time to be bearish? So we always start off the session looking at market timing. And for those of you who may be new, yes, you can time the market. We time the market. We have seven different market timing. Which way? Which way? Seven. Seven different market timing signals based upon how you invest in the market. And when we say we time the market, we are trend followers. We follow the trend of the market to keep you on the right side of the trend, no matter what type of investor you are. All right. So when we say time the market, it's not about predicting which way the market is going to go. We keep you on the right side of the trend. So I'm going to start off looking at uh, our homepage. This is the homepage of the VectorVest software. For many of you who are not subscribers to the software, this is a view of what you see when you first open up the program. First, we can clearly see what's going on with our major indices. Oh, actually, that's not the major indices. All of the major indices are down. The Dow, the NASDAQ, the S&P, and our VectorVest composite. And this is the indicator that we use for timing the market because this indicator, the VVC, looks at the movement of 8,314 stocks. We feel that it is a better representation of the broad market movement. So all of the major indices are down, not by a ton. The NASDAQ is leading the way, down almost six-tenths of a percent, but the VectorVest composite is also down about three-tenths of a percent. We go over to our market uh, color guard. This is tracking the movements of the price of the VectorVest composite, the RT, which looks at the short-term price trend of the market, and the buy to sell ratio, which looks at the overall health of the market. And we assign tile colors based on their movements on both the week over week and day over day basis. If you get a red tile, that means that indicator, like the price of the Vector Vest composite, has fallen on a week over week and day over day basis, so we assign a red tile. The same thing occurs for both the RT and the buy to sell ratio as well, giving us three red lights in the color guard on the top row today. The best way to use this color guard is to use it like a traffic light. What's the main color you see in the color guard? Well, let's count. We've got 6, 12, 18 uh, boxes here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 red, which means that we have 9 yellow. The market is cautiously bearish. We've got just, if we had one more red and one less yellow, that way we'd be more bearish than anything. So. When we say again, from timing the market perspective, this color guard gives you more insight as to what's going on in the market by tracking three of our market timing indicators, all right? So we've got nine red, nine yellow. Our color guard or market timing gauge is three ticks in the red today because we have three red lights across the top. Now I'm gonna take this one step further. I'm going to bring up the market timing graph, which is looking at the movement of that vector vest composite now shown on a one-year graph in candlesticks. When we track the movement of over 8,300 stocks, we get a better feel of when the market's moving up, when the market's moving down, and when the market is moving sideways as it has most recently within the last year. How do you use this? Well, we have moving averages on our vector vest composite Looking at the three and the eight exponential moving averages gives you a good opportunity to get in and out at the right time. We also look at things like um, support and resistance as a way to get in and out at the right time as well. Bouncing off of resistance or bouncing off of support, utilizing those indicators to help us to get in and out. And I'm going to put this now on a three month graph. Is it the right time to be in the market? Well, the market was in a bit of a channel right here, finally broke through a level of resistance right here at $47.33. Broke above, market went higher. After that, the market now started tailing over. The three and the eight exponential moving averages have crossed to the downside on the date of 9-23-2019, which was about three days ago. All right, and now currently with today's activity, we have a red bar, a closed red bar, denoting that we have a down day today, but we do have some buying pressure with a long wick at the bottom of the candle, showing that we've got some buying pressure going into today's candle, even though it is still red and in, uh, in a down day. 
So is this the right time to buy stocks long? The answer to that is based on the movement of over 8,300 stocks, probably not the right time to buy stocks new. But if you're currently managing your portfolio, do you panic sell? No. Let your stops manage the trades that you currently own. That's the important thing. You know why? Because that is part of your plan. Plan your trades, trade your plan, and that keeps you more um, in, the, in the way of being disciplined. And the better, the, the better, is that a good word? No, not probably not. The best investors are those who still remain disciplined. Plan your trades, trade your plan. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like to refresh your information about the software, click on this Getting Started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.